At the beginning of this year, precisely in February, we were in um, Oshobo. We had a meeting with media executives. It was a media dialogue, and we used that opportunity to visit a community in Oshun State where the practice of FGM is still a reality. So it was getting to the root of it. And during that process, we were able to interact with the people that actually practice FGM, the circumcisers themselves, both the male and the female. We had kind of a focus group discussion. And then in the process of interaction, it came out clearly that um, they didn't know the harmful effect of female genital mutilation. And all this while, they have been doing it, one, as a kind of service to the community, even though it comes with little benefits in terms of money, gifts, and all that. But the fact that they genuinely did not know really was an eye-opener for me. And that based on that interaction, most of them surrendered their tools and um, made a decision that they will no longer practice female genital mutilation. They also became advocates for the abandonment of the practice and now are actively engaged in mobilizing other circumcisers, educating them and getting them also to abandon the practice. So for me, that was quite striking and I consider that a very um, important achievement in the FGMC abandonment program that we're currently working on. With the current momentum, yes. with the current commitment that we see, and the efforts that we are collectively putting in, UNFPA, UNICEF, other UN agencies, the civil society group, including um, faith-based organizations, traditional leaders, community leaders, and the level of open discussion that is currently going on. And this is also not to forget the effort of young people, you know, who are using social media as a tool for awareness creation. I see that this collective effort in the next 20 years will result in the abandonment of FGM. I am confident that we will get there.